The Media Arts Council is presenting a unique exhibit in March. Each of the 12 Mac Gallery artists in the cooperative have chosen three of their most memorable pieces of artwork to display, pieces that mean a great deal to them for one reason or another, perhaps a distinguished reward or a possible landmark in their artistic development. Merle Weismer, creating sculptural art to wear and trying to convey a deep reverence for rhythm and repetition in nature. Even though I've been designing jewelry for the last five years, I started out as a fiber artist slash tapestry weaver. This piece is very special to me. Uh, it was created for a private residence, and I also had the pleasure of entering it into uh, the Philadelphia Guild of Hand Weavers uh, show at the Widmer Gallery uh, in Philadelphia and won honorable mention. Uh, it was woven uh, probably around 1980. Uh, the other reason it's so special to me is when you're creating tapestry, it's important to uh, show that there are fibers. I really didn't want to create tapestry that looked like a painting and then have it be compared to a painting. I wanted to give it uh, some 3D quality and so I like the intertwining knots and negative spaces. Uh, the piece has a lot of movement. And even though it looks very symmetrical, uh, the fact of the matter is each half is quite different. And I kind of enjoy that challenge uh, in my work. And so um, I just wanted to share it with all of you. Uh, the second piece is, was done recently and it is made from repurposed drapery tape. And I found it at a flea market in 1985, and it sat on my desk for close to 20 years, and I kept playing with it, not knowing what I was going to do. And I knew there was an idea in there somewhere. So it is very flat tape, and I started pleating it up and playing with it, and I eventually came up with a necklace. And uh, you can see the similarities between the recent work and the first piece that I really enjoy the knots and the curves and the lyrical quality and the negative spaces. Uh, I had the pleasure of being accepted into an international show uh, a couple years ago here in uh, the Wayne Art Center uh, in Wayne, Pennsylvania, and it was a real honor. And uh, I just really like the simplicity and the elegance of this neck piece. And it reminds me of like an 18th century rough, uh, some of the articles of collared clothing that you see in uh, 18th century uh, portraiture. Uh, I have had an interior design practice for the last 35 years. I'm recently retired and I'd like to think of this as my last design job. I would also like to refer to it as an installation. Uh, lest you think interior design is not art, I would beg to differ. It employs light, line, texture, form, color, and the same principles are used in creating a work of art in any medium. So what we're looking at here is in the foreground is we are looking at a table an old table that I found, and I uh, took all of my husband's old ties and created a pattern and made a tie table. Uh, it is sitting on an Isfahan hand-knotted rug, a Persian rug, uh, and what's interesting is that both the table and the rug have a lot of pattern, but they work well together because they are separated by the solid mass of the wicker. Behind you, you see a credenza. Uh, that was designed by me, and it is uh, neoclassical, and it is also French, and sometimes the French neoclassical style can be referred to as empire. And it is sitting below uh, another neoclassic uh, piece, which is a mirror, but it is American neoclassic, which is sometimes referred to as federal. To the right and left of the mirror, you are looking at uh, these two lamps, but they are repurposed. The lamps themselves, the stems, are Chinese 
print rollers for either wallpaper or fabric. And what you're looking at uh, is the ink that is soaked into the rollers. I turn them 90 degrees and I found these really fun uh, Chinese hats in New York City. And I had a special harp built up into the hat for illumination. So I think it creates uh, a really nice uh, vignette. Uh, to the right, you will see an art deco chair. And I really enjoy mixing different patterns and styles. And then on the upper right corner, uh, you'll see one of my sculptural weavings uh, that I did many years ago. And so uh, what really brings the room together with all of the patterns uh, is the visual weight that is given by the color of the walls, which are navy. They tend to anchor the room, as do the windows that flank the mirror and credenza. And they also add visual weight to the room uh, to really um, kind of balance everything out. And so uh, this is my last piece, and I hope that you have enjoyed uh, having a look. Thank you. We will feature our usual second Saturday live virtual opening March 13th at 4 p.m. Join us for a chance to learn something new about the journeys of our artists and see how their art will deepen and enrich your own experience. Remember, save the date. Virtual opening Saturday, March 13th at 4 p.m. at mediaartscouncilgallery.org where the artists will speak about their singular works and take questions from the audience.